Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to another video here on Greeno Eats. Now you might be able to see beside me here a little uh, paper bag with Toby Carvery written on it. And you know what that means? For the first time in 15 months I think, I've been to Toby Carvery to pick up a too good to go magic bag or surprise bag. And in fact, it's in one bag but it's two bags. <laughs> so I ordered two roasts from Toby Carvery in the magic bag. I think they were £3.29 each, that's a total of £6.58. And basically what you get in here is the leftovers at the end of the day from the, uh, the Toby Carvery Carvery section. You can either order a vegetarian one, which of course comes with no meat, or the normal roast, which should have meat in there. Now last time I did this, I wasn't too impressed with the results. We didn't get very much meat, and the sort of selection of sides to go with the roast was very very limited it was mostly macaroni cheese which i think is a bit weird <laughs> so hopefully in here we're going to find something a little bit better so only one way to find out what we've got and that's to delve inside isn't it there we go two of not their best yorkshire puddings it has to be said now they do make them on site, obviously. Um, yeah, quite often they're a bit more puffed up than this. I mean, this one's almost like a bloody pancake. So, <laughs> so that's not the best, but we got two of them there. One for each of the roasts. And in here, we have one, two roast dinners. But unlike the last time I got one from Toby Carvery, there's no gravy. We had pots of gravy last time. So I don't know if they're expecting me to make my own gravy to go with this. It looks like we might have to. Um, there we are, let's put that back up there. Bit, bit of product placement for Toby. So let's open one of these up. Oh, there's a little bit of a Yorkshire pudding debris on there. Mm, pretty crispy. So what they've done, again, which is different to last time, Put it in this plastic tray but rather than a lid being on there like i had before they've just cling filmed it up so you've got to get into that it's been well wrapped i'll give them that <laughs> let's see what we've got in here so we have there we go can you see there we have got in this one anyway a reasonable sized piece of gammon and two little sausages so that's the meat element now the meat bag costs 3.29 as opposed to the vegetarian bag which is 2.29 so this is basically a quid hmm. not sure about that but there we are um, we've got a number of roast potatoes in here so one two three four roasties on there which is a fair size portion isn't it and then some veggies underneath there's peas there's cabbage and cauliflower cheese by the looks of it which is a bit more normal than uh, macaroni cheese i suppose <laughs> now the peas look a little bit sorry for themselves i don't know if you can see on there they're kind of going that beigey green rather than the vibrant green that you'd like a garden pea to be but I mean, I guess if they're left over at the end of the day at a Toby Carvery, they're going to be a little bit like that. The cabbage doesn't look bad. Yeah, tasty enough. And like I say, cauliflower cheese to go with it. Let's open up the other one as well. See if there's any difference with that one. Again, got to get through this cling film. What have we got this time? Pretty much exactly the same by the looks of it. A piece of gammon. Two sausages. <laughs> um, only three potatoes in this one, but they are big ones compared to the other, um, the other portion there. Somehow or other this one's got a green bean snuck into it, but everything else is pretty much the same. Take a look there, you can see a big portion of cauliflower cheese peas cabbage roast potatoes and that's about it 
So, tomorrow we're going to have these to eat. Not going to have it tonight because it's already 25 to 11 <laughs> by the time I've got home from the Toby Carvery picking these up. So it's a little bit late to be having a roast dinner right now. So tomorrow I'll cook these up and we'll come back and we'll have a look at them. Now, it's just me and the teenager who are going to be eating these. Um, Mrs. Greeno and Little Anna are away currently. So we're going to have to divvy this up in such a way that the teenager will eat it. Which basically means she won't eat the gammon, I'll eat the gammon. <laughs> She's going to be having sausages with a roast dinner and nothing else. <laughs> and uh, I'm guessing she probably won't eat the macaroni, uh, not the macaroni cheese, the cauliflower cheese. Maybe she'll try it. You never know. Um, but the one thing I know I'm definitely going to have to do is knock up some gravy. Because Toby, you haven't given me any. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Anyway, we'll come back, it'll be tomorrow for me, it'll be in a few seconds for you, and we'll see how it looks cooked up. So it's day two folks, it is time to cook up the Toby Carvery from the uh, the magic bag that we got last night. So let's have a little look at how we're doing it. So I've already got the spuds going in the air fryer. Another five minutes to go, and then we're gonna add in the sausages, and I actually found in the freezer, a couple of stuffing balls left over from the last time I made a roast which thankfully I had the foresight to tuck away rather than just eating <laughs> so that's good uh, I've got the little sausages there and the Yorkshire puddings the Yorkshire puddings don't seem to have fared that well in the night to be honest they're a little bit like cardboard now but them's the breaks and then if we come over here you'll be able to see I've got a little pot of gravy cooking up here because Toby didn't give us any gravy, the swines. So we'll just wait for that all finished cooking up, put it on the plates and see how it looks. Okay, so here is my plate. You see here we have the Yorkshire pudding. I have added one of those stuffing balls I found in the freezer. And I've got the gammon. As I mentioned, teenager is not a fan of gammon, so she's not having any of that. Got some cauliflower cheese. The peas and cabbage, I actually found a little bit of leek when I was digging around as well. So that's in there too. And some nice roast potatoes. Just reheated in the air fryer. And here's the teenagers. She's got pretty much the same as me, apart from the fact, like I said, she hasn't got the gammon. She's picked up the sausages that were in there. Four little chipolatas. Right, time to give this a try. Teenager is sat over there behind the camera eating her, so if you hear any loud slurping noises or something you'll know she's enjoying it <laughs> so where are we going to start i think we'll start with the gammon so there was a, a fairly decent slice of gammon in each one but that's it um not ideal i thought we might get a little bit more but i suppose you only get whatever's left at the end of the day so it looks quite nice they've warmed it up in the gravy mm. Tastes pretty good. Nice and soft. That really nice salty flavour you get with gammon. That's good. Okay, so now we're going to try one of the least favourite items on the plate for me. Cauliflower cheese. Now, I'm not a big fan of cauliflower. But at least by adding cheese to it, it makes it a bit better. I normally only eat cauliflower if it's in a curry. But Give it a go. It's okay, the cauliflower's not overcooked, it still has a little bit of bite to it. The cheese is very, very mild on there, not very much of it. You can see here there's a little bit of cheese sauce and a little bit of paprika or something on there. Can you just make out that little orange bit? But it's okay. The peas and cabbage and leek are all kind of mixed together. I'll just get a big old fork full of everything there. The cabbage is nice, not overcooked again. I like leek with a roast dinner. I like to either roast some onions or some leeks or something. We'll have cheesy leeks when we make a roast dinner at home. Yeah, that's pretty good. The peas. Yeah, they're overdone. They obviously were sat out. 
too long. You can see the colour of them. I'm kind of going a bit beigey coloured. They almost tin, taste a bit like tinned peas do now. So that's not brilliant, but you know, it's okay. Roast potatoes. Good colour on them. I'm cutting through that. It's nicely cooked all the way through. No hard bits in the middle. That looks really hot actually. There's loads of steam coming off of that. <laughs> mm. Not bad roast potato at all. Possibly could do it a little more cooking. It's not that fluffy in the middle. Um, but it's certainly not undercooked, if you know what I mean. It's not raw or hard in the middle. And then the bit which I think is a little bit disappointing is this Yorkshire pudding, <laughs> which is as flat as a pancake. And to be honest, it's pretty hard now. It obviously hasn't fared well overnight. I did keep it in the fridge. I thought that was probably the best place to put it, but... Hmm. The taste is good, but the texture is all wrong now. I like Yorkshire puddings. They're really kind of big fluffy things, but they've got a little bit of a soggy bottom on them. And this is just hard. But there we are. It is what it is. Um, let's try this stuffing. I know it's good because it's one I made before. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with Toby Carberry at all. I think it was just a Tesco's sage and onion stuffing with a bit of sausage meat in there. Lovely. Okay, so I've finished it now. Well, almost finished it. Um, there are a couple of bits I haven't quite managed. The Yorkshire pudding hasn't been finished. It's basically inedible. <laughs> and uh, yeah, some of the veg, the peas and whatever. The peas weren't great, so I sort of shoved some of them to one side. But other than that, it was decent, if kind of unspectacular. Um, the gravy, obviously I had to make at home. And without actually doing the whole roast, so I didn't have any meat juices, any of that, so I just basically had to mix some bisto and some water and warm it through. So <clears throat> I think gravy is one of the most important things on a roast dinner. It really kind of brings everything together. So obviously I wasn't really able to do that properly. But, I mean, if we look at the individual components on there, the gammon was good. It was soft, it was salty, really, really tasty. Uh, the cauliflower cheese wasn't bad. I'd have preferred a bit more cheese or cheese sauce on there. But the consistency of it was nice. Uh, the veg, like I say, was nice apart from the peas. Uh, potatoes were decent. Um, perhaps could have been a little bit fluffier in the middle. But again, who knows what's happened to them overnight. <laughs> and, uh, and then the Yorkshire pudding, yeah, like I say, absolute write-off. Um, kind of like it was made out of cardboard or polystyrene or something. Basically inedible. Um, obviously, I had a little stuffing ball on there which I had in the freezer. That's always a nice little touch, like a bit of stuffing. Would have been nice if we got some from Toby. But you, you know, you can only have what they haven't run out of, can't you? So that's the nature of the beast. Uh, teenager ate the sausages. Um, they all went, so there can't be anything wrong with them. Uh, they looked like they were on the sort of the cheaper end of sausages, kind of like, a bit like a Richmond sausage. But for her, that's perfect. She likes that. She'd rather have that than a butcher's sausage anyway, probably. <laughs> so, um, yeah, overall, I mean, it's probably only a sort of six out of ten for a roast dinner. But having paid £3.29 per portion, you'd kind of struggle to do a roast dinner at home for that. Plus, I haven't really got much washing up to do now. A couple of plates, a pan I made the gravy in, and the air fryer. That's it. When I make a roast dinner at home, <laughs> my other half would tell you it is like a disaster zone in the kitchen. Every pot and pan and tray is used. So, <laughs> so at least we haven't got to deal with that today, which is a good thing. Right then, folks, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this magic bag. Do you think it was worth the money or not? Would you have been pleased with what you got? Anything you'd have liked to have seen in the bag that wasn't there? Just let me know. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget you click the thumbs up on there for me. It does help with the channel. And if you're new around here, why not consider clicking that subscribe button and ding your little bell for notifications. You will not miss anything that comes up on the channel that way. Okay, that's it for me for now. I will catch you on the next one.